I kindly welcome everyone to the uh, very best guest lecture organized by Nature Beyond the Horizon, the Environment Society of Horizon Campus uh, on the small wild health of the world and Sri Lanka uh, by guest lecturer Mr. Ashantu Bukala. So now I invite to the our advisor Mr. Nadisha Bunavadana to introduce our guest lecturer. Good afternoon to all of you. So I know all of you are here to listen to Mr. Ashan. So I will very briefly introduce who is our guest lecturer today. So Mr. Ashan Tudugala, his basic degree is from University of Peradeniya on Zoology. And at the moment he is reading for a MPhil at the University of Peradeniya on Conservation Science. Already he has completed it. And he is the founder of Save Fishing Cat Conservation Project of Sri Lanka as well as the co-founder of Small Cat Advocacy and Research in Sri Lanka. Also, he is the associate in Sri Lanka for Global Wildlife Conservation Organization and Wildlife Conservation Network. And also, he is at the moment, he is working as a group member for Fishing Cat Working, in the Fishing Cat Working Group for IUCN, International Union for Conservation of Nature, the World Conservation Union. And also, in Sri Lanka, when it comes to small fishing cats, he is, the, he is one of the experts, there are only very few and from among them also, he is one of the experts. So whenever we uh, get into this subject, all people, they call Thutta, Ashram Thutta, so they know him as Thutta. Whenever we find a Padmaak or whatever, they, they call like, uh, we laugh from Thutta. So, and <laughs> his, uh, this uh, awareness, programs, conservation, public talk, not only in Sri Lanka, it extends to our, the international level as well. So very recently he, he has been to San Francisco to give a talk, public talk on uh, small fishing cats in Sri Lanka as well as New Mexico uh, by, by the invitation of Fish and Wildlife uh, Organization of United States and also very recently he has delivered many uh, public talks on uh, this subject in Malaysia, Singapore, Nepal and China and also in July he will be flying to London as well. So at the moment when we are trying to contact him to invite to this public lecture he was at China. So today we have a, the best expert for this subject so I hope that you will gain more knowledge on this subject and there will be more uh, students from our, our campus to join with you for conservation of fishing cats and other small cats in Sri Lanka. So, uh, I will start with a small question. Does anyone uh, know how many wildcat species in the world? Numbers? In numbers? So, uh, in the world, so far we have like 40 wildcat species. And uh, most of them are, uh, in their morphological features and their uh, genetical lineages and uh, those cats are uh, divided into two parts like uh, we call it we generally call it uh, general uh, big cats like these seven cats hope you uh, all can see them and I think many of uh, you can uh, easily identify those individuals and uh, from this uh, from the left so it's a uh, tiger uh, leopard Sorry, uh, the Bengal tiger, uh, lion, leopard, puma, uh, smallbird, cheetahs, and those animals. And uh, all these uh, big cats, they, they get many huge attention from the people throughout the world. But we also have 33 small cat species throughout the world, and uh, they are living in their own uh, habitats, like. Uh, some of them uh, living in the snow and some of them uh, living in the deserts and some of them in very much hard terrain in uh, Mediterranean and like that and uh, they have like uh, all these cats are uh, derived from one ancestor and uh, if you can see uh, from this uh, and uh, the panthera lineage which means the big cat lineage uh, it was started from uh, uh, 11.5 million years ago and after that all these uh, small cat small cats you can see from here they will start to uh, <coughs> derive from the big cats which means the lions, tigers and all their uh, big cousins 
and uh, I'll uh, show you, you some uh, small video about the small cats uh, in the world and, uh, and that, ha uh, that has some, uh, some uh, interesting uh, information about the, these uh, small, especially about the small cats which are their type localities and uh, the names, common names like that uh, much smaller than uh, the leopard like uh, I mean uh, their uh, full body length uh, goes up to uh, some of the uh, bigger cats and uh, so their body length goes up to the 3 to 4 feet sometimes I mean the cats in the pool areas like in uh, Numerelli and those areas uh, they have really really big uh, fishing cats in this area, uh, in those areas, in New Orleans, that, uh, that kind of areas and uh, the females are much smaller than the males and the weight of the fishing cat is like uh, the full grown uh, male is like uh, 15 to 16 kilograms which is a big amount for the cat and, and uh, thank you very much Thank you, Asha, for that uh, very informative and very interesting uh, lecture. So it's our first uh, guest lecture, and uh, so this is not the uh, word of thanks. I give the mic later to our secretary. Just wanted to say a few words. Um, so we thank you for taking your time and traveling all the way from Kandy and using the public transport as well to come here and give uh, this uh, guest lecture. And we, looking, we look forward to seeing you on this Sunday on the field workshop. So this is a small announcement. We have a field workshop at Biodiversity Study Park Alvartogoda. It's in front of uh, the Parliament, so the Parliament Lake and the Parliament Road. So uh, the posters, events have been created on Facebook and shared. Um, so uh, we are uh, fully aware of the, work, the conservation work that you are doing in Sri Lanka. And uh, we want to support that. So at this, uh, the society has decided to make a few donations to your projects. So I would like to call upon uh, Dr. Vice Chancellor, Dr. Luan, to uh, give this first donation. We have two donations uh, for your safe fishing cat conservation project, which uh, you have founded. So we have a letter and a small donation. So uh, please come forward to accept this donation. And also, uh, we had a uh, donation box kept outside, so we had very, very generous donations from our student members. Uh, so, all the, the entire donation that we collected outside now, also we are donating to your small cat advocacy and research organization where you are the co-founder. And uh, we have that uh, donation as well. I would like to call upon uh, the Dean of uh, Faculty of Sciences, Dr. Leka, to present this to Mr. Ashan. And uh, we have a small thank you letter for you as well. And I would like to call the uh, president of the Nature Beyond Horizon Society to present this to you. Uh, I would also uh, welcome you all to join with us in our future programs, which uh, we will. It will uh, we go through this society and so I hope to do a lot of work with you all and thank you for this opportunity. Uh, now I would like to call um, the secretary of the society, Mr. Varna, to give a word of thanks. And uh, we are also very happy to see some outsiders here as well uh, who come, have come for this uh, special lecture from uh, Mr. Ashan, who shows that how popular he is and uh, the awareness of all the work that he is doing throughout the country along with uh, his colleague, uh, Ms. Anya, who we will be meeting on Sunday. We'll be con both of them will be conducting the field workshop. And uh, so I would like to invite our secretary to give the vote of thanks. Very good 
good afternoon to the guest lecturer, Mr. Ashan Tudugala, Technical uh, Vice Chancellor, Dean of Science Faculty, Head of Biotechnology, uh, Deans of the other faculties, Senior Academic Staff, other staff members, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, on behalf of Nature Beyond the Horizon, the Environment Society of Horizon Campus, I would like to extend my uh, sincere gratitude to everyone present today uh, for joining our very first guest lecture. Guest lecture. And I would like to especially thank Mr. Asan Dudugala, founder of uh, Safe Fishing Cat Conservation Project and also co-founder of Small Cat Advocacy and Research Organization for giving his lecture on small wild cats of uh, Pearl and Sri Lanka, uh, which has provided awareness on community-based uh, conservation that can help save species from local extinction. Uh, we also hope to see everyone at the uh, upcoming field workshop uh, at the Talbot Biodiversity Study Park. And with that, I would like to close today's event. Thank you.